done a big drawing like this, to be honest. And I was like, what am I going to do? I was trying all these things. I was trying really hard. And I was like, well, bodies and stuff. And then for some reason, I imagined a praying mantis and a person trying to be a praying mantis. And so I did all this stuff. about mandalas, so that it's actually kind of supposed to be some sort of life mandala, like cycle of life mandala. I feel like it's important when I'm making things so that I, so I have this image in my mind, and it's very clear, but I'm not sure exactly what it means, like I can kind of understand what it could mean or what it could suggest, but it could mean a lot of things. So I think it's important for it to be evocative and open. This is printed uh, on a 3D printer using a bio plastic. Yeah, this originated from a hand drawing that I did. Right. Both of the overall structure, well, we worked on that together, and then also the individual pieces, that we, the 44 that we put together. They're all were a hand drawing that we took a photo of and then yeah. put into Rhino and all these other <laughs> complicated programs that then the 3D printer read. Each piece is built up layer by layer, uh, point, point 0.25 millimeters thick, and built up over 20 hours. So each each section takes 20 hours to build. The form is based on the tree cells of plants. The, the outermost layer of a, tr of a tree is called xylem. Uh, and the structure uh, is what's left when a tree burns. Um, and so we've taken that and transposes natural cellular structure into plastic to create this effect of the light and the But also the translation yeah. of the hand and the machinery, that like back and forth process that is so common now. So it started with this flower and I just like sewing things together and I collect a lot of personal things and I don't like to get rid of them, I just like to save them to put together. Then I wanted to include all of these like materials that I use to like put things together so that other people could like try to interact with it and do whatever they want. I started sewing this in June and since then I've been sewing all of these things together. I really like thinking about it as like a time period because for a while I just had this like thing kind of separately on my wall but to like have it as this like big kind of bursting circle is like trying to connect a lot of different parts of my life. at all so I just absentmindedly took a tortilla and just started biting it and um, I was eating them at the time you know I was eating the bites but I enjoyed that and I um, was kind of trying to make as many bites as I could without breaking the tortilla so it's just kind of like a little game for me and afterwards it ended up being really pretty and I got that feedback from the people who I was with and from like my housemates when I brought it home and it, it dried on my bedside table in this really pretty way and I thought it looked kind of like bone or like hardened leather or something. It's kind of transforming everyday objects into like a beautiful thing. That's what inspires me. And I liked how it could like doing like the same thing a lot could make a beautiful thing. Like kind of like a almost like a ritual aspect to it. And I feel like it's kind of like there's a like a communicative aspect to it as well. Um, and like using like this organ that is always used to speak, but in a way it's like a physical speaking because it's like making shapes and making changes through a physical object. It's almost like a silent statement. I don't know. It's called peace and quiet because the paper I used paper to kind of cover a lot of drawings that were done in graphite and ink. Um, so there's a lot of material on the board and I felt like there's so much here. I want to cover it and make it more peaceful and quiet and um, white and cream colors and soft and 
So I started covering it blue and paper over and over. And after all the paper and the white was there, it just felt boring. Okay, it's all white, it's so peaceful, it's so quiet, but it's actually kind of boring. So I took the, the acrylic paint and covered it with some pink and some red. And even though it's not such a peaceful piece, I kept the name because it honored the process of trying to find peace. Just keep working on it and working on it until I can look at it.